ट्रोपोस्फेरिक विंड एंड द पीजीएफ इन अपर ट्रोपोस्फेयर वॉट इज द पीजीएफ इन दी अपर ट्रोपोस्फेयर सो इफ आई लुक एट दिस एज पर एज पर हैडली मॉडल एज पर हैडली मॉडल एंड फेरल्स मॉडल अपर ट्रोपोस्फेरिक विंड दी अपर ट्रोपोस्फेरिक विंड are part of they are part of the vertical meridional a uh, cell so whatever models that we have studied we studied the hadley model we studied the ferrell model and both of them said that jo upper troposphere mein jo winds milti hain the winds in the upper troposphere they are part of the vertical meridional cell what do we mean by this it means that if if this is the uh, troposphere the first layer of the atmosphere if this is the troposphere and let me write this as a tropopause so if this is the troposphere this one the dotted one this is the uh, tropopause they say that the upper tropospheric winds somewhere here okay somewhere near the tropopause they are part of the vertical meridional cell that is if the wind rises from the surface near the equator it reaches up to tropopause it moves along the tropopause it sinks at the poles and then again reaches back so here uh, the wind rose along the equator creating a equatorial low pressure here reaches the tropopause moves along the tropopause cools sinks create a polar high pressure this is what hadley said so it says that this upper tropospheric wind is a part of this vertical meridional cell that's what hadley said uh, this upper tropospheric wind is a part of this vertical meridional cell and that's what your ferrell also says so as per ferrell's model if i draw ferrell's model here the wind arises goes here sinks come rises okay so you have hadley cell ferrell cell polar cell the wind is arising moving okay so basically the upper tropospheric wind winds are part of a vertical meridional sets that's what they have said this is what hadley says this is what ferrell says both of them they say this but this is not reality what is reality in a reality in a reality in reality the upper uh, tropospheric winds the upper uh, tropospheric winds they are not part of they are uh, not the part of vertical meridional cell they are not a part of vertical meridional cell and the upper tropospheric winds the upper uh, tropospheric winds are a separate system they are not a part of the vertical meridional cell and they are a part of a separate system upar alag hi system chal raha hai theek hai wo vertical meridional cells ka part nahi hai and these upper tropospheric winds they are a separate system what is that system we will understand the wind they move from high pressure to low pressure to wind upar bhi high pressure se low pressure hi move karenge बट हाई प्रेशर कहां है लो प्रेशर कहां है वो अलग है तो नीचे जो हो रहा है वो इन्फ्लुएंस नहीं कर रहा है ऊपर बट ऊपर जो हो रहा है वो नीचे को इन्फ्लुएंस करेंगे लेट्स सी दैट सो यर फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज दैट दे आर नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ दी वर्टिकल मेरिडोनल सेल एंड दे हैव अ सेपरेट सिस्टम इन रियालिटी इन रियालिटी 
the in reality the uh, vertical meridional cell in reality the vertical meridional cell uh, do not extend they uh, do not extend up to troposphere they do not extend up to tropopause in reality the vertical meridional cell do not extend up to tropopause but are shallow in nature but they are shallow in nature so your vertical meridional cell they are not extending up to pura tropopause but they are very shallow in nature i can show this in a diagram like this so if this is surface if this is surface uh, this is equator this is subtropical high pressure this is subpolar low pressure and this is your polar high pressure on the surface again here the same thing your subtropical high pressure polar low pressure subpolar low pressure and polar high pressure this is the uh, tropopause this is the surface this is the tropopause the height of the tropopause is above above the equator is more whereas the height of the tropopause above the pole is less so as per ferrel as per ferrel model as per hadley model uh, inca vertical meridional cell was extending up to tropopause but in reality what is the reality i say that the reality is like this if this is the surface equator let's say pole pole uh, the tropopause the tropopause the cells are not as high the cells are shallow they do not extend up to entire tropopause but they are shallow in height and the upper jo troposphere hai upper troposphere they have a separate system they have a separate uh, system this is your tropo or uh, pause okay now what is the system what is the system in the upper troposphere the upper troposphere is a separate system in itself it is not same yes theek hai this is just for understanding purpose the height of the cell is different the height of the cells are different the height of the cell is more at the the hadley then less ferrel and then less uh, polar right uh, yes okay now please write this so here they are a separate system in reality the cells are very shallow and what is in reality the separate system so you said that in reality in reality along the equator along the equator at the upper troposphere in reality along the equator at the upper troposphere there is there is high pressure there is high uh, pressure while along the polar areas along the uh, polar areas at the upper troposphere along the polar areas at the upper troposphere there is low pressure there is low pressure theek hai what i'm saying in reality along the equator at the upper troposphere we have high pressure whereas along the polar in the upper troposphere we have low pressure hum upper troposphere ki baat kar rahe to basically if i look at this diagram again if i look at this diagram again in the reality one the reality one i'm drawing it again here the reality diagram this is your surface this is equator and this is a pole north pole this is a south pole okay this is my uh, tropopause i'm saying 
I'm saying the cells are like this. These are the cells. These are the cells. In reality, the cells are shallow. And I say, in reality, where do we have a high pressure? We have a high pressure here. We have a high pressure here. At the upper troposphere, at the equator, we have high pressure. Upper troposphere ki baat ho rahi hai. And at the polar areas, near the upper troposphere, let's keep the troposphere be like this, there is low of pressure. Above the equator, above the equator, at the upper troposphere, we have high pressure. Above the polar areas, at the upper troposphere, we have a low pressure. And why is it so? Aisa kyun hota hai? Ya, yahaan pe, aapki air rise kar rahi hai. The air is rising. The air rises and let's say the air cools. And therefore the air is diverging. That is what the cell explains, right? Ki air rises, the air cools and the air diverges. But here the air is accumulating. So as the air accumulates, the molecules are tightly packed. There will be what pressure? There will be high pressure. So here you have a tightly packed air. We have a tightly packed air and therefore we have high pressure. And the opposite is there in the pole areas. Pole me kya hai? Sinking ho hai? As the air is sinking, at the upper troposphere, you have a less tightly packed air. And therefore you have low pressure. Therefore you have low pressure. So at the, along the equator, at the upper troposphere, we have high pressure. Along the polar areas, at the upper troposphere, we have low pressure. So gradient kaisa hai? From the equator to the poles. Therefore the gradient is, therefore the PGF, therefore the uh, PGF at the upper uh, troposphere, the PGF at the upper troposphere is from, yes, equator to, is from equator to the poles. Yahaan pe bhi toh thoda difference hoga pressure ka. To hum ye kyun keh rahe ki poles equator se pole hai. Beats ki baat kyun nahi kar rahe. The reason is, ye dono thermal hai. Because ye dono thermal hai toh ye dono bach strong hai. Ye wale itne strong nahi hai ki in dono ko influence kar pahe. Thik hai. Chahe distance kitna bhi dur ho jaye. Influence toh rehta hai. Thik hai. Kyunki thermal hai. Dynamic induced. इतने स्ट्रॉंग नहीं है। Yes, hardly cell. Equatorial low pressure is because of thermal reason. Polar high pressure is because of thermal reason. Whereas the subpolar, the subtropical, the subtropical and the subpolar is because of dynamic reason. तो इतना स्ट्रॉंग ऊपर प्रेशर डिफरेंस नहीं होता। But जो थर्मल के कारण हैं, equatorial low pressure and the polar high pressure, they are because of thermal and therefore the pressure gradient is very strong. Therefore, along the upper troposphere, there is two pressure gradient, equator as well from the pole, from equator to the poles. This is the first section. This was the first section. Here, the first section was upper troposphere, what is the condition? And in the upper troposphere, what is the PGF?